So in our previous video, we showed how to discover which bridge is root. And we discovered that in this network, this one, which happens to be an access level uh, switch, is root. And it's that way just by pure happenstance, right? It happens because all uh, Cisco switches, by default, have the same priority configured. And so when they have the same priority configured, then what determines the root bridge is just whichever one happens to have the lowest MAC address. And in this case, AL4 had the lowest MAC address. Now, that's an access layer switch, which typically are a little less powerful. I don't want an access layer switch to be my root bridge. I'm going to want a distribution layer, or more likely a core layer, switch to be uh, my root bridge. Now, in this case, I have a collapsed core model, so I have a couple of distribution layer switches. So I want this one, in this case, to be my root bridge. And remember, you're going to have more traffic flow through your root bridge than any other bridges, so you want that switch to be a little more powerful. So I want to make this one, one of my more powerful distribution layer bridges, or switches, my root bridge. So how we do that is actually pretty easy. I'm going to go into my distribution layer switch here. And just for kicks, before we do anything, let's do EN and show spanning tree. And here we're going to see our priority, 32,768. Now that's the default priority. And remember, the priority is between 0 and 65,000 some odd in blocks of 4096. So kind of odd the way they do it. Um, it has to do with uh, the way the um, BPDU protocol is built. So these are going to be implement er, incremented in uh, implements of 4096. Now, I don't have to do the math to figure out how this works, though. 32,768 is default for everything. But if I want this one to be the primary or the root bridge, I can do this. I can go to my global config, and my command is going to be spanning tree. And then I'm going to set the VLAN that I'm working with. And this is going to be important. We're going to talk about it in another video. Because I can have separate instances of VLANs, or separate instances of spanning tree for each VLAN. So in this case, I've got a default configuration, so I only have one. So it's VLAN 1. And then I want to set the priority. Now, if I do the question mark here, you'll see we have two different things here. We have root and priority. So I can set the priority and then set any number that I want. Zero, by the way, means this thing will never be a root bridge. No matter what, everything else could die. This still wouldn't make itself the spanning tree root bridge. So the bridge priority is between 0 and 61,440. That's the right number. In increments of 4096. Now, if I don't want to do the numbers, I can also do this. I can do root, and here I have two predefined keywords, root primary and root secondary. So I'm going to make this one root primary. Now, I'm going to exit out I'm going to type a show spanning tree again. And what you're going to see now is this one has a priority of 24,457. And then, of course, we add, you know, take our 24,576, add 1. That's how we get to 24,577. So what it does is it lowers my priority to 24,576 because I said that make this the primary. This bridge is now root. Now, that creates chaos all across my network. As now, all of these devices are sending BPDUs to each other and they are recalculating who our root bridge is going to be because the priority changes. Now, at this point, this one right here is, should be my, and it's going to take it a little bit for it to come out there. Right? It looks like it's about there now. Um, so it might take it a little while, you know, a minute or so. Should be about 30 seconds, actually, but give it a little bit of extra time. So this is now my root bridge. So let me go down to AL4, which was my root previously. And let me do a show spanning tree. And now we're going to see, here's the root bridge. It's got a higher MAC address than this one does. But that's OK, because the priority is what ultimately determined that the other one would be root. Now. Everything else across here is still set to be 
uh, default. So if this switch goes down, guess which one becomes the root bridge again? That's this one based on MAC address. I don't want that. If this one goes down, I want this one to become my root bridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my DL2. I want this one to be my backup root bridge. So I'm going to go to privileged exec mode, config T, spanning tree, root, whoops, I have to specify VLAN 1, root, and remember it was root primary to make it the first one, and then secondary makes this the secondary uh, root switch. So now, if I do show spanning tree, show the right thing here, my root bridge is still my other one, DL4, which I'm connected to through gigabit G01. This one now has a priority of 28,000 rather than 32,000. So if DL1 goes down, it forces another spanning tree election to select another root bridge. All of these are going to have a uh, priority of 32,000 some odd. This will be 28,000. So this one then becomes my root bridge. And so that's all we have to do to configure spanning tree priorities. Now remember we can do this across separate VLANs. We'll take a look at that in another video. But one more thing that I want to address. We saw when we did the spanning tree, in fact let me hop back in here again real quick. When we did our spanning tree configuration, let's look at our command again, config tree, spanning tree, VLAN 1, and you saw where we could use the root settings, which is what we did, root primary, root secondary, gives you a primary uh, root bridge and then a backup or secondary root bridge. Now, that's the only thing we have right now is root primary and root secondary. If I wanted three or four levels of control, then I would have to use the root priority. And that's where I'd set the individual numbers rather than using my shortcuts for primary and secondary. For a lot of small to mid-sized networks, root primary, root secondary will work just fine. In fact, you can do more than one bridge as root secondary. So what we could do if we had, let's say, three distribution layer switches here, we could say we want this one to be our primary and we could set the other two as root secondary. And then if the primary went down, whichever one of these two had the lower MAC address would become the backup. And then if that one went down, the other one would become the backup. So it gives you more layers of uh, control if you have multiple devices fail. But most of the time, a primary and a secondary using these keywords keeps you from having to do weird math in increments of 4096 and will work just fine.